Hello everyone and welcome to Jeopardy. Hey Luke. You alright? Glad you've uh, invited me to the first one. We'll see how it goes. There will be six categories and three questions in each category of increasing difficulty. You will have chance to answer 12 questions. If you get it wrong, that's it. You do not get the money from that question. <laughs> Category one, goalkeeping blunders. Category two, one club wonders. Norwegian football, championship stadiums. It happened in 2021. And category six, England captains. You know I'm going to start with? I'm going to start with one club wonder. Let's start with 100 to start the episode. The answer to all questions in this category are players who have only played for one club. I have the joint most amount of own goals in Premier League history, but that's okay. I've won a Champions League. Jamie Carragher. I assume is the answer. Correct, 100 pounds. Where would you like to go next? Let's go England captains for 100 again. In 2008, West Ham United retired shirt number six in honour of this iconic England captain. Sir Bobby Moore. Light work for uh, Pingu. Very fortunate I did a tenable question on retired numbers literally last week. <laughs> Let's go for 200. England captains again. Who was England captain at the 2014 World Cup? He has since managed in the Premier League. 2014 World Cup. I'm going to say Frank Lampard. If I said uh, Scottish Premier League, it mm -hmm. would... Instantly Gerard. Yeah, the answer is Stephen Gerrard. But Frank Lampard was second in command. Let's go for the 300 England captain question. Your daily double. Oh, there we go. Glad I landed on it. The way daily double works is you can gamble all the money you've accumulated and basically you've accumulated £200. You could gamble up to £200. If you get it right, you get that amount plus what you've won. If you get that wrong, then you lose all of that. Let's, let's get, gamble the full 200, I say. Why not? Who was younger when they first captained an England side? Harry Kane or Wayne Rooney? Because of the likes of Lampard and Gerrard, I'm going to say Harry Kane as the answer. Correct. There we go. Oh, I'm really pleased and pleased that you've got yeah. that. Championship stadium for 100. With a capacity of over 40,000, what is the biggest stadium in the championship? Uh, yeah, Stadium of Lights. Correct. Yeah, let's go for goalkeeper blunders for 200. It's 2010. Rob Green has just committed a costly mistake to gift who an easy goal. I know the nation. Now, which American are we going to say? I'm going to say Clint Dempsey. Yeah, well there pulled we go. out. You don't know where I'm from, dog. You don't know where I'm from, dog. Just, just a horrible time for England, really. Championship Stadium for 200. What answer connects a city in the USA to a championship football stadium? New York Stadium. Correct. You're on a roll, which I'm congratulating you, but I'm also deeply resentful. Let's go. One club wonder, 300. I played 89 matches for Barcelona B in the 90s before being promoted to the first team, where I spent 15 incredible years. The likes of Xavi and Iniesta have all had different clubs. There's not many in that era, so I'm going to say Carlos Puyol is the answer. Yes, yeah. correct. There we go. Uh, let's get for, finish off the one club wonder category with uh, 200. I am the second highest goal scorer in Serie A history. One club Serie A man with a lot of goals. Um, Serie A one club man. I'm just going to say Alessandro Del Piero. No, no, it was Francesco Totti. Of course it's Totti. Well, let's go Championship Stadium for 300. Before moving to St Mary's in 2001, where did Southampton play their home matches? Oh, I know it's something really short. It's like two words, bang, bang. Is it the Dell? Yes, it's the Dell. I'm going to go for the Norwegian, 300. Oh, I respect that. Yeah. I'm rooting for you now for that. Super League Greece is ranked 17th in the European coefficient rankings. What about the Elite Siren? I'm willing to give you a two-position leeway. It's interesting that you gave me Greece, because that gives me an indicator. Because Greece do yeah. actually get a few teams into Europe. Number 21. The whole point with Super League Greece was I thought most football fans would assume that Greece would be higher because of the teams that they've had in Europe over the years. But actually, the Norwegian League is higher at 15th. Wow, really? They must have a good period, like football pyramid kind of thing. That's that's probably contributing to it. Yeah, lost those 300 there. So let's... Uh... You've lost 300. Yeah. But you've gained my respect. That's worth more than 300. <laughs> Imagine if you just went, that means nothing. Let's end off with goalkeeper blunders for 300. Which goalie labelled the blind Venetian signed for Manchester United in 1999, but lasted just four matches for the Red Devils. The obvious answer would be a Fabian Bartes, but why would he be Venetian? That's what I'm confused at, because Venice 
is in Italy and he's French. I'm just going to get Fabian Bartes because he was known for his errors. You had to guess somebody. It's Massimo Taibi. So you end the first round on £1,800. Guys, I've got some new shirt arrivals to announce from our friends over at Sangalo. I get real 80s vibes from this Stallion Laguna shirt, a team from the Philippines. There's also a new shirt from the Premier League. The Tanzanian Premier League. That's so cool. My favourite is this electric Ho Chi Minh City FC shirt, a Vietnamese football club. The shirt I'm currently wearing is Vidae's FC, which is a club from Belize. This is my favourite. They've sent me this. Thanks for sponsoring the video, Sangalo. There will be a link in the description to Sangalo where you'll find the quirky shirts and backstories on the internet. <laughs> Your first category, Premier League. Your second category is international football, football stadiums. Then we have world football. The Germans always win. And then the final category yeah. is retro. I'll ease myself in with £100 on stadiums. Doncaster Rovers play home games at which stadium? The Keep Moat. That is the correct answer. Well done. We'll go with stadiums for 200 Which country does the national team play at the Friends Arena? That's Sweden. It is Sweden. Very well. I, I didn't know that. This is a... a my mic drop moment i've been you've actually been and yeah i'll go for it 300 pounds for stadiums oh on. this is uh this is an interesting one in the lowest attendances ever recorded which stadium just saw 3039 fans attend a premier league match in 1993 do you know what i think i'm gonna go for wimbledon wimbledon stadium was plow lane you're so close. Unfortunately, uh, the correct answer is Selhurst Park. The correct teams were Wimbledon against Everton, but because of the Taylor report, Wimbledon weren't allowed to play in Plough Lane in the Premier League. I respect you for getting at least the right club. That is the most evil question in quiz history, and I love it. I will try and build my confidence back up by going for 100 in the Premier League. Which football owner made a memorable speech in 2005 asking fans, where are you? Where are you, Delia Smith? There we go, 100. Premier League for 200, please. What is the name of brothers Gary and Phil Neville's dad? Neville Neville. It is Neville Neville for 200. <laughs> what a man. And it, their sister is called Tracy Neville. I've got, I, I, I almost don't want to start telling you all the names of the Nevilles because it looks suspicious. How, how do you know all these yeah. Nevilles? You know what I mean? And we'll stick with Premier League for 300, please. Ex-USA international Landon Donovan had two brief loan spells at which Premier League club? I believe it was around the time of the World Cup that he came to England. Which team? Mm. Everton? Spirit of the Blues is the correct answer. Yeah, in 2010 and 2012, went on loan to them. He also went on loan to like Bayern Munich and Bayer Leverkusen. I suppose we ought to do it. We'll move on to it. Germans always win for 100, please. Who once said football is a simple game? 22 men chase a ball for 90 minutes and at the end, the Germans always win. That is such an iconic line, but I don't think I know who said it. Mm. <laughs> oh no. Why would, they, why would they be sucking up to Germany like that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Catch yourself on. Gerd Muller. It's not good, Muller. It's kind of similar. It's uh, Gary Lineker. That is Gary Lineker to a T saying something like that. Yeah. Only he would be that diplomatic to say that. Yeah, he's, he's a nice fella. World footy for 100, please. FC Cologne have which animal on their club crest? It's, it's, it's horn. Horns. <laughs> We'll go with a goat. It is a goat on the uh, Cologne badge. Retro for 300, please. Oh, <laughs> this is probably oh, the no. toughest question on the entire. Oh, no. So Arthur Conan Doyle, writer of Sherlock Holmes, and Niels Bohr, famous um, scientist, have what football fact in common? Can you say the question again? Because yeah, I, this I, is... That, a... that... So Arthur Conan Doyle and Niels Bohr have what football fact in common? They have both ridden a donkey to a football match. So specific. Uh, no, that is not the correct answer. They were both professional footballers and they were both goalkeepers. I'm going to go for World Football for 300, please. World Football for 300 is the daily double. Uh, I'm going to go for a gamble of 300 of my amount. Which Spanish club has the nickname the Mattress Makers? Is it like, is it Los Colchoneros in well, Spanish? Yeah, Col Los Colchoneros. Oh, Atletico Madrid because of the red and white? It is Atletico Madrid. 200 on retro, please. We'll try retro out. In 2006, what food item gave the majority of the Spurs squad food poisoning? When you say it, I might probably know, but it's not coming to me. Chicken. 
not chicken. The correct answer was lasagna. It was lasagna gate. One final question. We haven't done international football, have we? We'll go for 200 for international football. Which side are unbeaten at the World Cup, however, failed to qualify for the knockout stage? What do you, what, what do you mean by this? So they were unbeaten in the World Cup group stage. However, they didn't qualify for the knockout stage. I think Angola drew against Portugal and drew against Iran. This is really random if I do remember this. That was in 06. Angola. Angola, unfortunately, did lose their uh, final game. New Zealand is the correct answer. So we've got who struck England's infamous disallowed goal in the 2010 World Cup? Frank Lampard. It was Frank Lampard and then... They decide, oh, we'll get some goal line technology in after that. The England Euro 96 song, Three Lines, was sung by which pair of comedians? Buddy and Skinner. Oh, that's it was. I, I thought that would be more tricky. Ludogorets Razgrad are a club based in which country? That was 200 World Football. Is it Bulgaria? It is Bulgaria. Hold on. Oh, this is really annoying. Get all these ones that you could have had. The record age for a youngest manager in the Bundesliga is 28 days and 205 days. <laughs> Me... That's very young. <laughs> 28 years and 205 days. Who was it? Nagelsmann. It is Nagelsmann with uh, Hoffenheim. There's another one that you could have got. Which former German international footballer went on to become a wrestler in WWE? Oh, uh, Oliver Kahn. Yeah, I mean, you got the right position. It was actually Tim Weiser or Visa. Which was the first French team to win the European Cup in 1993? Uh, Marseille. It was Marseille. There you go, another one that you could have got. Who replaced Loris Carius as goalkeeper of Liverpool in July 2018? Alisson. Correct. There we go. Which Norwegian football club did a young Erling Haaland play for under manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? Molde, or Mold, however you say it, that, that one. Yeah, name the northernmost professional football club in the world. And that, that was for 200. Well, my... clearly not a stump peg watcher then. Yeah, I must, I must have been slacking. Tromsa. Tromsa, there we go. I cost £100 million in summer 2021. Romelu Lukaku. Jack Grealish. Against who did Cristiano Ronaldo play his second debut for Manchester United in September 2021? Newcastle. Yeah, Correct. And which team were crowned La Liga champions in May 2021? Ooh, I'm going to say Barcelona. Atletico Madrid. It was, it was. Is the mattress makers. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.